Well, the Ministry of Gender and Social Protection is to liaise with trade and industry to abolish import tariffs on sanitary parts in a bid to improve its access to young girls in deprived communities across the country. The Deputy Gender Minister, Frida Prempe, made this known at a ceremony to commemorate Menstrual Hygiene Day in Accra. Access to menstrual hygiene products or sanitation facilities, particularly for some girls in school, is a challenge. School authorities say some school girls are compelled to spend some few days away from the classroom because of poor menstruation management. As part of efforts to promote good menstrual hygiene management and raise awareness about the challenges women and girls face due to menstruation, the Menstrual Hygiene Day was instituted in 2013. Marking the day in Accra, the Deputy Gender Minister, Frida Prempe, hinted of plans to abolish the 20% import tariffs on sanitary materials. But we are championing this and we hope that government will listen to us through the ministry and for that matter collaboration with the Ministry of Trade so that the 20% tax could be reduced. Once it's reduced, it will affect the price and the sale of um, sanitary parts. But I would also advocate for a company to set up a factory to produce the parts here. Deputy Director General of the Ghana Education Service, Dr. Kwabina Bempatando listed some measures to improve menstrual hygiene in schools. And it is important to note that in the ESP or the Education Strategic Plan of the government from 2018 to 2030, there is an effort to ensure that every single school has clean toilet facilities for especially our young girls. Girls also require menstrual hygiene materials at school to be used during their emergency situations. The Ghana Education Service is putting in place adequate intervention to ensure that no school child is left out of education delivery, uh, especially because of menstruation. Executive Director of Obapa Development Foundation, Nanahima Ajua Awindo, advocated the provision of toilet facilities with changing rooms to enhance security and privacy for girls during menstruation. A lot of people have issues. Of course, if you don't have a private place to change your parts, if you don't have a private place to have, you know, to go to your urinary, you not feel like even going there because you're already scared, you're already afraid, you're already shy. So if you don't have a privacy, you know, you can have that kind of ease. This undermines the educational opportunities, health and overall social status of women and girls around the world. As a result, millions of women and girls are kept from reaching their full potential. Other speakers called for concerted efforts to improve sanitation infrastructure in schools, access to hygienic menstrual products, and promoting education on menstrual hygiene management.